Hey guys, welcome to Redneck Off The Range. I'm your host, Redneck Mini 14 and today we're gonna to talk about power tools, specifically power tools for the budget-minded person like myself. You're not a hardcore carpenter, but you do need some power tools from time to time to do certain projects around the house or your land or whatever. So uh, I do have a couple tools here that I bought fairly inexpensive over the years and uh, I do have another set of tools on the way that uh, I'll splice the two clips together and uh, we'll just make one long video. Um, but for the time being, I just have these two tools here and I do have some other tools somewhere that I just kind of found uh, in my uncle's basement um, that he gave to me. Um, I don't, you know, we're not gonna do a video on that, but we're gonna do a video on these two tools here that I bought myself. On the left, we have a Makita 18 volt lithium ion drill. I don't know the specific um, model or anything, but I did buy this particular drill from a buddy of mine used for $50 along with an impact driver. So I got the two tools, two batteries, a case for the drill only, um, and then a charger, all for $50. And if you know Makita tools, you know that $50 for all of that is a pretty good deal, especially if they are in good working order, which they are and were. Um, I say were because I don't know where my uh, Makita impact driver went. Um, it was in the garage. I, I have a bad feeling somebody might have stole it out of the garage. Um, just like when I was cutting grass or something and the door was open and maybe somebody snuck in there, took it, or they took it out of the back of my truck because I think it was back there for a little while. I don't know but I have been looking for a replacement uh, a replacement impact driver and that is what the new set of tools that I will be adding into this video, um, that's where that comes into play. On the right, we have a hyper tough circular saw. It has a six and a half inch blade on it um, and I bought that for $40 from Walmart. Now hyper tough is probably the bottom of the barrel when it comes to um, you know cordless tools, you know, cordless power tools, um, you know, there might be a few other even cheaper than that, but um, Hyper Tough is definitely the lowest that I would go. And to be honest with you, this has, you know, did the job that it needed to do. I, I only bought it to do a couple things, and I do have a couple other things that I'll probably use it for, um, but it did the jobs that I needed it to do, and it did them pretty well. Um, I used it to cut some pieces of wood for the bench, you know, the workbench that it's actually sitting on, and it, uh, you know, it did that job pretty well, and I did it for, you know, I used it for a couple other things as well. But it was $40 at Walmart. Um, it basically just comes with what you see here, and it, there's like one other thing in the box that I don't really even know what it's for. But it came, it was just a, a saw and the, um, the battery and a charger. Um, and it's just a cheap 20 volt battery. You can get replacements at the store or just extras at the store for $16, $17, which is pretty decent um, considering like, you know, a lot of tools you pay $100 for a battery, you know, depending on where you get them. So if you can get a replacement or an extra battery for $16, $17, you know, less than $20, that's pretty good, even if it is a bottom of the barrel type of power tool. Um, and, you know, I'm not gonna do a whole formal review of that particular power saw, or, you know, the circular saw, um, but maybe in the future I will after I use it a little more. So far it has done everything I've asked it to do um, at a, you know, it, you know, did it well, basically. Um, it does not have all the features of of a higher end saw, you know, it doesn't have a light, it doesn't have like the, the automatic uh, stop whenever you take your finger off the trigger. Um, it doesn't have any of that, but it does do the job well. Um, so if, you, if you're a do-it-yourself kind of person like myself and you just need a circular saw or any kind of tool to uh, do just a couple things, uh, you might want to check out HyperTuff or even some other store brands. Um, Cobalt is not the cheapest, but it's also not the most expensive and uh, it, it, it is kind of in the same line as this because Cobalt, I believe, is a store brand. Um, it's a little more expensive than this, but not uh, not as expensive as if you went the Makita route. So anyway, uh, back to the impact driver that I am missing 
Um, what was my solution to that? Well, I've been looking for a replacement impact driver, something that was going to be decent but didn't break the bank. Like if I had to buy another Makita, I'd probably be spending uh, over $100 just for the tool itself, I guess depending on which model I got. Um, because the one I had was a pretty decent one. Um, so I didn't want to break the bank. I didn't want to go with another Makita right away just because I didn't necessarily have the money um, or necessarily the need to have a high-end impact. And I've also been looking for a reciprocating saw um, because I have a lot of tasks that I need to use something uh, along the lines of a reciprocating saw or even like a little bitty um, uh, chainsaw. Um, but I didn't end up going the chainsaw route. So what I found uh, was a four tool kit made by Skill. And uh, we'll just show you that right now. All right, guys, and this is the four power tool set that I got from Skill. I bought it off of Amazon, and you, I got basically everything you see here except for this uh, four amp hour battery uh, from Amazon for $180. It was $179.99, and it also came with a $20 discount, like a $20 promo, I guess. Uh, so I got $20 off of that, so it was actually $159.99. Um, and then I picked up this extra battery. This is a 4 amp hour battery for, I believe, either $60 or $70. I can't remember. But that was a pretty good deal for all of this. And uh, I'll just kind of briefly go over what it all came with, and then later I'll do some more in-depth reviews. I have used all of these tools, or, or I have... Uh, tried out all these tools anyway um, and just to see how they worked and uh, some of them uh, I'm perfectly happy with and some of them I'm kind of skeptical about um, but we'll just briefly go over what it came with <clears throat> so first and foremost the tool that I thought would be the least um, least useful to me is the uh, spotlight and um, it is kind of cool it does have a uh, a magnet on the back and a little a uh, little hook on here so you can hang it and it does come with two brightness settings uh, it has a high and a low and uh, I think it would be a pretty good useful tool to use as lighting for my videos um, because I can hang it places I can stick it on the the steel beam above me or the uh, the ductwork or you know someplace else and I might be able to kind of shine an extra spotlight on the subject but uh, I haven't tried that out yet, so we'll see how that works. Behind that is the 20-volt uh, drill. This is the basic drill driver. Um, and it did come with a double-sided Phillips head bit. Um, so it has a Phillips head on this side and a Phillips head on the other side. They're both uh, PH2, uh, so Phillips head 2, um, which I guess is the most common Phillips head you'll ever use. I don't really know why it wouldn't come with a like a one or a three on the other side, but uh, it's, it is double-sided and it is kind of nice. I wasn't expecting to get any bits or blades with this set because it didn't say that it would. Um, it also comes with a little belt clip here that you had to put on yourself, but it's, it is kind of cool. It does come with a belt clip uh, for both the drill and the impact. And uh, over to the impact, um, it is... I would say the impact is a little bit better than the drill in this particular set. Now, none of these tools are brushless, which I know brushless is like, you know, what everybody's going for, but in order to get it for a cheap price of $180 for all four, um, they don't offer it in a brushless option. And in fact, I don't even know if Skill makes a brushless reciprocating saw at this time. But they do make brushless impacts and drills, I know that. Um, but it's just basically a, a basic impact driver and it did come with a Phillips head bit. This one is not double sided like the drill, but it is a uh, Phillips head bit that it came with and it is impact rated whereas the drill one is not you can tell uh, you can just tell by the color um, one thing I was kind of disappointed about was how it fits in here it seems really loose I don't remember my Makita being this loose maybe a little loose but not like this 
Um, but I guess little things like that are to be expected when it comes to cheaper power tools, so I guess I shouldn't complain. And of course, once, you're, once you have pressure on it, it's not gonna be a problem, which you're always gonna have pressure on it when you're using it. Um, so spotlight, drill, impact driver, and probably the biggest thing that I wanted out of this set was the reciprocating saw. Um, it is a pretty nice recipro reciprocating saw. I'm gonna do a more formal review on it after I go <clears throat> and use it. Um, I have used it on a tree in the backyard. I trimmed a couple branches off of it and it worked really well. By the way, it did come with a, um, I think this is like a six inch uh, wood blade. Um, kind of a cheap blade, but it does the job. And I did pick up quite a few other wood blades from a, from a couple different stores. Um, but it did the job well, and uh, I have a really big task for it in the next week or so. Um, out of the farm, there's a bunch of little bitty trees that have just popped up over the years, and we just need to cut them down, um, get them out of the fields before the field turns into a big forest of, um, I think they're persimmon trees. Um, we have a few of them out there. We're going to leave a few of the new ones out there, too, to kind of replace the ones that are, are dying off. But there's just like, there are hundreds and hundreds of these trees um, in the fields and they just need to be cut down. And um, I'm gonna go out there with this saw, all three batteries, um, which by the way, the set did come with two, two amp batteries. I have one on the uh, drill, one on the impact driver. Take all three batteries and uh, probably even my dad's porter cable that he uses for work. I don't know how many batteries he has, maybe one, two. I don't know. We're going to take both reciprocating saws out and I'm going to cut down as many trees as I can and uh, just kind of clear the field. Um, that's going to be a really big task for this saw because that is a lot of cutting to do. But um, so far I am satisfied with this saw and I do have high hopes for it. I know it's not the most expensive saw, probably not the most high quality saw. But for the price, I think it did come with a few nice features. Um, it has a toolless um, blade change and it has a light um, above the blade. And I was not expecting the light on the saw. I knew it would come with the impact and the drill, but not the saw. I was not expecting that. So that is kind of a nice feature. And uh, of course the batteries, um, they do have this nice little feature here where you can see how much uh, charge it has. Now this one, I haven't charged this one yet, but the batteries do come with a little bit of charge um, on them. So that's kind of nice. Usually you, usually there's nothing on them um, when you buy them. Um, so anyway, the set came with the spotlight, the drill, the reciprocating saw, the impact driver, two 2 amp batteries. This is not, or two 2 amp hour batteries. Uh, this is not the 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 batteries that come with the little USB ports, those are different batteries. Um, and then it did come with um, a charger, of course, for the batteries, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, it's, it's a nicer charger than you would find on some other tool companies. Um, and then, of course, it did come with the two bits for the drill and impact driver and the blade, which I was not expecting any of those to come with this. I thought I was going to have to go buy my own. Um, and, of course, they're not the nicest bits and blades, but they are definitely better than nothing. So, anyway, that is the four-tool set that I bought myself from Skill. They do make um, other four-tool sets and three-tool sets and two tool sets. Um, but this is the one I went with specifically because I wanted an impact driver and a reciprocating saw. I didn't really need the drill. And quite honestly, I don't see myself using the drill very much just because it's not as good as my Makita. And I'll do a video on that. Um, and then obviously the spotlight, um, I could use that for lighting for my videos in the future. So anyway, that is the four tool combo kit from Skill. Um, you might want to check it out. Skill seems to be a pretty decent um, budget-friendly option when it comes to power tools. Um, they have uh, circular saws, jig saws, sanders. They even have these little uh, hand vacuums that take the same, the same batteries. And of course, there's also some 12-volt options as well, but I went with the 20-volt. Um, 
Anyway, that was Redneck Off the Range. Subscribe to my channel, and until next time, be safe.